Hello everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Miriada here again, and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Browse. Oh yeah. Try not to yell in your face this time, and I think I was a little bit loud there, but oh well. You'll deal with it. But anyways, uh, so the last episode actually had quite a few requests, so yay. It's not doing quite as well view-wise, but maybe that's because it was adult content. Who knows? All because I went to Moyo, which has pictures of naked boobies. But instead of going to uh, YouTube to look at all the comments, since there were so many of them, I figured I'd uh, make a little notepad with some links and stuff to make things a little bit easier on us. So these aren't really in any order, just what I saw when I was going through the comments. So we're going to start with uh, Umida's uh, request. So uh, Good Smile Company 1 8 Roshenfa. So if we open that up, we wait and we wait and we wait some more. There we go. So first off, Chaos Dragon was a horrible anime, my opinion. But yeah, it wasn't the greatest. It, it was just kind of meh and slow and boring. But it is what it is, and we're talking about this figure. So, pre orders are closed on Namiami, but I'm, you might be able to find her other places. So, this one, the thing that really catches your eye, or at least my eye, is the bright red uh, outfit that she's wearing. And I'm gesturing with my hands like you can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, she has a very bright and vibrant red outfit. Unfortunately, I don't see it being as vibrant in real life. I, I don't see that happening. It could be, but expect it to be a little bit duller. But other than that, she, she looks good. I like the way they sculpted her face. It like fits her personality. I don't like the skull base. I've never really been a fan of the skulls, so this one's probably not for me. She was on my list. She may still be on the list for all I know, but it may just be to follow the comments. But yeah, the, the skull base kind of just kills it for me. But she looks good, and I bet a lot of people would be excited to have her in their collection. Uh, so the, another one that Umida wanted to see is a uh, Fats 1 7th Shimikaze figure. So we'll open that one up. So I've already got a Shimikaze, which I am pleased with. It was Good Smiles version of her. This one, it looks okay. She's riding Renzo Ho Chan and he's, oh yeah, he's in heaven. Because, I mean, he got that booty on him, on his head. But the face kind of doesn't do it for me. Uh, maybe if we zoom in a little bit. Yeah. I mean, she's got that disinterested look on her, and it's the little tiny mouth like that. It, it looks nice, but not the biggest fan of it. And fat. So, expect it probably November. <laughs> fat tends to delay. So... Yeah, that's that's Shimikaze. One more by Umida. It's uh, Reika Shimohara, the shotgun version of her, by U Union Creative. So I have a Union Creative figure, Shimi Ishibai. She was pretty good. So this one, uh, it's from Gantz, and I I watched like one or two episodes of that and never could really get into it. I don't know why, but. Just never really could. This figure, well, it looks kind of like her back's a little broken. I, I see that comment a lot on different figures, like, oh, the way she's bending her back must be snapped in half and everything. But some girls are just very flexible. And in anime world, almost all of them are. But she's got a nice chest on her and a nice booty. Very nice. The face looks more realistic than normal anime figures, so that can be a plus for you, or it can be a minus. Depends on what you're into. Uh, the gun, 
eh, it's a gun. Doesn't look the greatest, like right around here, it looks very plasticky. Of course, this is a prototype. Pictures can suck, so who knows what it's going to be like in real life. It's fairly expensive at about $150, so if you like her, yeah, go ahead. She, she looks like she's going to be well done. Uh, Union Creative is a pretty good company as far as I know. So now, uh, next we'll go to Asana Yuki. So some of these people are repeats. And if you're a repeat, that means you've watched my videos. Yay, go you. So she's at, I'm assuming she, because Asana is a she, uh, she's asking about Bell Dandy by Good Smile Company. So we'll wait for that to load. So I, I've i watched uh, Ah My Goddess, or Oh My Goddess, depending on which one you want to talk about. And I do like Bell Dandy. She's a great character. Uh, but this figure... Yeah, it, it, I hate to be so negative, but I'm talking myself out of buying these things because I need to save money. But anyways, this figure is kind of meh to me. The face doesn't quite look like Belle Dandy and the hair. I, I know she does wear like this type of outfit when she's riding Keiichi's motorcycles, but... Yeah, like the purple on the thigh doesn't look the greatest. And then uh, the whatever she's riding on, honestly, it looks like a penis. Or if not a penis, then a vibrator. Let's see if we can get a better view of the whole thing. Come on. So, yeah, it's like the heart looks like a ball sack, and then it's just very phallic. And kind of looks like a double, like one of those jackrabbit vibrators. So, yeah. Now, now that you got that image in your mind, good luck getting rid of it. So, yeah. Uh, $120 or so, probably a little bit less. Yeah, it'll be good quality. It's by Good Smile. So, it's up to you. Uh, another one. Asana Yuki is asking about. Uh, there's a Sekirei figure by Orchid Sea, but forgot her name. So I looked it up. It's Tsukiyumi. Su so at least I'm assuming these are the ones you're all asking for. Without an actual link, sometimes I may get it wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is the one you're talking about. About $100. Not bad. So one seven scale. So Sekirei was a decent enough anime. Of course, it's about, you know, the big jiggly fighting boobs. <laughs> and so let's see here. So she's in a swimsuit bikini, of course. The boobs are relatively normal size for anime figures. And the underwear is a little loose. She looks okay. It's kind of a static, boring type pose. I mean, she's standing there with her arms above her head. Uh, it looks to be okay-ish. The, the facial expression is meh. She's just like, eh, I'm here. I'm not, I don't want to be here. Her eyes don't look very, like, glossy or anything. Uh, maybe if we click on one of these pictures, we can get a better view of them. Yeah, they just seem like flat and lifeless, so. But overall, she does look to be done very well. Uh, the hair looks to be, you know, crazy all over the place, which is a good thing most of the time. But, eh, not for me. Okay, uh, so now we'll look at Isaac Tans. Uh, he's requesting At the Atiko light or heavy armament version. So I've got a link to the heavy armament version. It's if you want the light one, you just basically take away her ship parts, and then you've got the light one. Okay. So if we click on her, get a bigger picture. So Atago isn't like my favorite ship girl. She's a little bit funny in the anime, like her bum 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 bum, but. Yeah, she's not my favorite. Uh, the blonde hair is 
like not not the Japanese style, which I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but the it's like they're trying too much with the colors, you know, blonde hair and the blue outfit and the blue eyes. Um, the pose, I mean, she's a bounce, bouncy type girl, so she's flouncing around, showing her boobs and everything. Uh, I, I think this is the heavy armor version, at least, is part of the wonderful hobby selection, so it's, you know it's going to be good quality. Uh, but, I mean, I have the Yamato, uh, excuse me, Yamato one. I'm not too crazy about Optigo, and the price is going to be pretty high, uh, since she was wonderful hobby slush and it's like exclusive, that's why I've got a Nippon Yasan link, because they can do the exclusives. But yeah, that's a pretty high price, and I'm not, that's not a price I'm willing to pay for her. If you want to, hey, go ahead. Everyone has their favorite chip girl. Um, so, Lord Mackinton, how about the Kuro no Rider figure by Amakuni? So, when I typed this into the search box, this is the one that came up. I'm pretty sure this is the one you're talking about. So, from Fake Grand Order, uh, Rider, or Astolofo. So, I did see a picture of this one when I was browsing around, and I'm like, wow, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, that, she looks pretty cool. Uh, the cape, when, when you look at it as like a whole picture, it kind of blends in and looks a little boring or flat. Just because there's so much, like with the cape and the vest, it's like a lot of flat surface with a single color. But when you look a little closer, like she has a lot of detail, especially around her waist. And the shoes are okay, and the sword looks pretty good. I think she has a little ribbon or a stripe of white hair. So, yeah, I was interested in this one, but not terribly interested in her. She looks like it'll be a good figure, especially in, if you're into Fate Grand Order. Uh, so she's eh, $140 or so. And it's supposed to come out in October. So, yeah, I mean, she doesn't look bad or anything. She looks fairly decent. It's just, like I said, uh, with that cape, it's a big area of one color. Not a lot of separation, so it kind of does look a little, little simple. Even though I know that the figure isn't. And Amakuni, I mean, that's a great name. It's going to turn out to be a pretty excellent figure. So yeah, she might be on my list. I'm not sure. Pro most likely not going to get her, but hey, uh, who knows what the future will bring. Uh, okay, so our good old buddy uh, Manuel or Manuel. Uh, so he's got a couple Kaons. He wants me the fifth anniversary. So we'll check those out. First one is Yui. I like Kaon. It's a fun show. And I really like the ending songs, like uh, Don't Say Lazy and uh, No Thank You. Great songs. So, Yui, meh. It, I'm going to say it suffers from that same, like, single color flatness, making it look simple. It does look to be, like, the skirt's nicely detailed and everything, and she's got the little heart on her face. Let's uh, make, maybe get a bigger picture of her. But yeah, I mean, looks a little simple. I think this is probably based off the endings of one of the one of the endings, because she's kind of like in a rocker type outfit. You're probably going to get a panty shot from the one angle, which they they never show in the actual promo pictures. Which I can understand why, but it's kind of annoying at the same time. Uh, the, her guitar is pretty uh, good. Bleh. Why can't I talk? It, it's got some good detail on it. You can see like the pat, the sunburst pattern or whatever. It, it looks pretty good. But Yui herself kind of kind of looks a little plain and simple. 
so uh, July, $110 or so. Not, not a horrible price. And does it say like what scale she is? I don't really see a scale here. So, oh, one eighth scale. So she might be a little small, but yeah, yeah. I mean, K Owen, it's got a cult following. It's gonna sell like hotcakes, that's for sure. Uh, so the other one he wants me to look at is Sumugi. Sumugi doesn't get enough attention, but she's she's cool and all, but not my favorite. I really like Mio, but believe it or not, I actually had one, a dream one time years and years ago and I was dating Ritsu and that kind of seems strange but that was the dream yes I am a loser <laughs> anyways Sumugi wow 1600 16,000 yen so 160 dollars she's a lot more expensive than Yui uh, 1 8 scales makes sense um yeah looks like she's already out yeah, she's in stock, so if you want her, you can buy her from uh, Nippon Yasan. Uh, Nippon Yasan, they can be a little expensive sometimes, so just be warned about that. But, yeah, I'm going back to the, you know, lots of flat, single color. I mean, most clothes are single color like that, but it just, it seems simple. But, I mean, it's going to be good quality, and once you have it in your hands, it's, it's not going to be simple in your hands, but just looking at the preview pictures, that's the impression you get, at least that I get. Um, I don't think I have any k No, I don't have any k figures, and honestly, I'm probably not going to get them. I mean, like I said, I like the show, I like the characters, but the mo Moe Blobs, they're not necessarily my thing to buy in figure form. Um, okay. So now we got Obama Loves Hentai. You're gonna have to update your name. Obama's gone. <laughs> but So he's asking about Mika by Kotobukiya. So I'm guessing this is the one you're talking about. And this is from the Girls on Panzer movie. Girls on Panzer, if you haven't watched it, Stop watching this video seriously and go watch it. It's a great anime and the movie is great. Lots of tank action. The girls are fun and it's just, it's a great show. So Mika, honestly, I didn't even know her name and she just comes out of nowhere in the, sh in the movie and, but then they're like kicking ass and all this stuff. But she's kind of a boring character. <laughs> she sits there and she plays her little instrument and stuff and spouts quotes. Uh, but anyways, so get rid of her hat and she looks a lot better. Uh, let's look at some better pictures, maybe. Uh, 9250, which isn't bad, and she's a 1 7 scale. So, yeah, I, I don't like her hat. So... One thing with like anime characters, with the way their hair is, if you shaved them bald, their foreheads would be a lot bigger than normal humans. So when you put a hat on like that, it really gives you that big giant flat surface. When, when you take the hats off and it's just the hairstyle and everything, it does look a lot better, I think. Uh, so she's sitting on some tank part in a little camouflage thing and she's playing her instrument so yeah not not a overly detailed figure kind of I hate to keep describing these like that I really do but I mean there's not a lot going on it's a nice normal outfit nice girl skirt a little sweater and a couple of pinstripes but that's about it not a whole lot of like ruffles or anything, but there's a lot of wrinkles in the outfit. So yeah, it, it looks good. And for that price, it's I think it'll be worth the money. Uh, it's Koto Bukia, I think. So expect some flaws, like these fine lines like right here might be a little, uh, they might bleed a little bit. At least that's been my experience with Koto Bukia. 
Some of them are really good though, so maybe this will be one of the good ones. Uh, so next, he wants uh, Watanabe Yo from Wave, or by Wave. So she's from uh, Love Live, Sunshine Girls, I think. Uh, okay, so she's one eighth scale, and she's uh, about one hundred twenty-eight dollars. So may not be worth the price. <laughs> Just, just my gut instinct. She's probably gonna be small. And wave. Hopefully they'll do a good job on her. Uh, they're known for their beach queens, and I, I do have the one wave figure, and it wasn't the. I mean, it's not hokey. It's not a horrible hokey figure, but it could have been a lot better. But that's hokey. This is yo. So. Yeah, let's view all pictures. And yeah, so the outfit doesn't do it for me. Yo's not my favorite character by far. I mean, she's she's the one that keeps the whole group together and everything, but there was that, you know, forced drama episode involving her and that just it turns me off. She does appear to be a happy girl in this figure, so that's that is a plus. But most idols are happy girls. And she's like prancing around. She's got a little sailor outfit on with an anchor. So, yeah, she looks... I mean, the prototype picture looks good. and I mean, great details and everything. Little... <laughs> yeah. Not, not for me, maybe for you. Okay. So now we've got quite a few by Lollipop Gallery. So he wants to see Snow from Blasted Tear by Orchid Seed. So I didn't know what this was until I clicked on it, and I'm like, I had had seen this one, and I'm like, wow, when I did first see it. It's not for me. I'll say that right now. I'm not going to buy it, but she's got a real nice ass. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of, like, the unicycle, basically, it is. Or at least that's what it looks like. But she looks to have lots of nice details on her. Uh, $150 or so for a one eighth, but like I said, you do get the whole motorcycle thing with her. And it's got a very nice booty. The shorts are all ripped to shreds, which gives you, you know, views of her flesh. And it looks like her. Uh, boobs are starting to pop out from the tears. So yeah, she's she looks dang sexy and everything. But like I said, this one's not really for me. But for you, yeah. Yeah, you, if you like her, yeah, you can spend your money on her and you'll be happy. Her face looks pretty dang good, too. She kind of got... I don't know how to describe that expression... It's kind of, I, I don't know. It's interesting. That That's for sure. And you got, you know, butt crack showing her taint a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she looks cool. Okay, he's asking for Rekka, the sword version. So we had seen this figure before, only it was a shotgun version. This one shows a bit more skin. And more skin is usually a good thing and in this case it looks to be a good thing um depending on who is looking at it like more conservative people will prefer the shotgun version with her you know the cat type suit the skin tight stuff those looking for you know flesh oh yeah they're after the sword version like I said on the other one, she's got some very nice boobs on her and a very nice booty. And the face, like I said, is more of a normal human type face than the normal anime figure. She still has the fairly high crown, so if you shaved her bald, she would look very strange. <laughs> but yeah, it, it looks like a very good figure. Uh, very expensive, too. A hundred and... $70 or so. And what scale was she? Okay, so she's a non-scale. 
So yeah, it's going to be expensive, but it's going to be a good figure. If you like this character or you just like sexy women, get her and you'll be happy with her. But it's not for me again. Um, so now he's asking about Felicia von Flumberg. And I'm adding uh, Yukishiro Fuyuka to this too because they're kind of a set. And so in episode one, I did show some figures of these two characters and I actually did buy them. But these are different figures of them. So this one is Felicia, and she's like in her battle type outfit. Uh, let's do this, and then let's do this. And then let's zoom in a bit. So I don't like the bases on this these two figures that I'm going to be showing you because they look cheap, this you know, the solid color plastic, it, it just, the base looks very cheap. Everything else, though, looks pretty cool. Like the little flame effects coming up and, you know, the armor that she's wearing. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the leg armor, but it is pretty cool. It's nicely detailed. She's got a nice outfit on her. And I'm not the biggest fan of the, either of these girls, uh, the floating armaments or whatever with the hands. But you don't necessarily need to display them with those because they are separate pieces. And Felicia herself looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if, yeah, we got a little bit of more close up on her face. She's got the translucent hair tips. She's got some nice boobs. Yeah, she she looks good. I was more interested in uh, Fuyuka when these figures were coming out. Or being announced. I didn't really see much about uh, Felicia because she was more of an exclusive figure. So you don't see her on Amiyami or anything. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think uh, she would be worth the second thought. She is expensive though. $176 or so uh, at Nippon Yasun. Like I said, they can be expensive. Uh, and she's supposed to come out this month, maybe. Uh, Anakuni, yeah, she probably will. But yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, the other one we, I, that I added to this was uh, Fuyuka. So I'd had her in my list, and I really came like this close to buying her, but. I don't know, she she was just too expensive for me to put down that amount of money on someone I didn't know. But she's got a very nice booty on her, and uh, nice boobs, of course. Let's view all the pictures. Uh, so yeah, this one is already out. I've seen some pictures of them with and of her in people's collections. Once again, she's got that cheap looking base. But nice effects, like she's got the ice powers, I guess, so she's got ice effects coming up. And then she's got these strange floating things like uh, Felicia did, which I'm not the biggest fan of, and they're going to take up a lot more space. Uh, she's got a big old giant lance. Lances are kind of not my favorite weapons. They're kind of boring, but they are what they are, and it looks like they're it's jet-powered. She's got like the cat ear headband on. Her face is kind of meh on her though, which was another reason I kind of passed on her. But she does have a very nice booty and nice boobs. So it looks to be a pretty good figure. Uh, there is another version of this one where she's been battle damaged, so some of her clothes are ripped. So that one... I don't think it's necessary on this figure. She's showing enough skin as it is. But yeah, she looks pretty good, so yeah. If you like Felicia and you like her, it's a set. One's by Kotobukiya, one's by Amakuni, but I think they're splitting the license because that's how the other figures are where they're in like that maid outfit with no skirt on. Um, okay, so another one that Lily Pop Gallery is asking about is Cleric from Bikini Warriors. Another exclusive figure. So Bikini Warriors 
is exactly what it said. It's a bunch of warrior girls that wear bikini armor. So if this ever loads, we can see Cleric. And it was, what, $134 for her, and she's 1 7 scale. So not, not a horrible price, a little on the expensive side. Come on. Do I have it selected or something? There we go. So yeah, she catches my eye. She does. Uh, kind of showing off her crotch quite blatantly. For a second there, I thought she was reaching around and grabbing it, but her hand is definitely not that long. Um, yeah, lots of details on her. It. I don't know why, but it doesn't suffer like the earlier ones, how I was saying it's just felt flat and simple because it was a constant color, but I mean, it's constant color on her flesh, but she, she just gives off the feeling that she's more detailed and everything. I mean, when we get this shot, yeah, definitely like all the straps and everything. So yeah, she looks pretty good. She's worth a second thought. Uh, this shot might be a little questionable for some people, but I probably won't pick her up. Oh, she is a cast off, so you can see some cleric boobs. But yeah, yeah, probably not for me. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to get into the bikini warrior series because there's quite a few of these girls, and they're expensive. But yeah, I mean, like I said, she definitely catches my eye, and I think she's would be worth a second thought. Uh, the other bikini warrior she's asking about is Kunoichi, or the ninja girl. So this one, uh, $143 and one seventh scale, so like I said, a little on the high end. This one I don't like as much. I guess it's just the pose, and yeah, the outfit doesn't do it for me either. I don't know, just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I did just watch the OVA that she was in, and she her character doesn't do it for me either. She was kind of annoying. But yeah, I mean, she doesn't look bad necessarily, just not to my tastes. She's got, you know, the, the booty's not quite as nice, but it's probably just because she's bending over like that. It's stretching it out and not, you know, making it seem as good. Her, bo her boobs do look okay. Yeah, another questionable shot. <laughs> yeah, her boobs look okay. Her face kind of doesn't look the greatest to me. So yeah, not quite worth that price for me. <laughs> for you, maybe. It should be a decent enough quality figure. So yeah, not for me. And then we've got... Koyohime, which is an original character and is a garage kit. So garage kits are definitely not for me because I would totally butcher them. I suck at like trying to paint fine details or put things together like that. Yeah, uh, let's try this view and get maybe some better pictures of her. <clears throat> So the person that painted her and assembled her for this these pictures did a very good job. I mean, it's not quite the professional company level, but like I said, they did a pretty dang good job on her. And she doesn't look horrible. I mean, I'm not the fan of these types of demon horns like that, but I mean, that's a personal preference thing. I know a lot of people are into them. Uh, she's got a nice chest, and I, I like the like kimono and all the stuff that she's laying on. It's pretty cool. And from the back, you can see a lot more like details and stuff. It does look like she's uh, laying on top of a pile of bones, which I, I mean, she is a demon, it looks like. So yeah, makes sense. Not my thing, though. Yeah, yeah she looks okay. Uh, I don't know where you would uh, buy garage kits or not. I, like I said, they're not my thing, so I don't really look into them. And then there's uh, 
37 parts for her, so I know they're a lot of work, but some people make them look so much better than, you know, professional quality figures. So if you're into that stuff and you need a, you have a hobby of sculpting and painting and stuff, yeah, they might be good, the perfect thing for you. But yeah, I mean, $300, they can get expensive too. And they're usually very rare, so yeah, not not for me. So I was planning on be finishing this video by now. I wanted to be done by eight o'clock, but we just did the recommendations. We didn't do any browsing, so we'll just uh, do some real quick ones because there was some that I wanted to talk about a little bit. So we'll do this one, and we'll do this one, and we'll... I think those are the those are the two main ones I wanted to talk about. Click on this one because I do have a comment. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go through like I normally do. So I think we'll just do those three for today. So this one I just saw today, and then saw these that they were actually available. Uh, you can buy them separately or all together. Together they cost uh, $154 or so. Uh, the Billy Billy Doga 2233 Nyan Marine Style Series. So <clears throat> the reason I want to talk about these is they just, especially this one here, it caught my eye. I was browsing some figure sites this morning and then I saw them and she just caught my eye. She looks really cool. This one, not quite so much, but I think it's just more the past lighter colored hair. I mean, they look pretty dang good. It's kind of an innocent type figure, not more of the, you know, naughty figures, which some of them I like and some of them I don't. But yeah. They're innocent looking. They're, she looks to be kind of happy girl. They're like dancing around, prancing around. Yeah, she looks pretty cool. This one, eh, not, not so much. She looks younger, but that's the great thing. You can either buy the complete set or you can buy the individual ones. She's got some funky thing going on with her hair. Just notice that that's that is like funky. I wonder if the other one has that. No, she's got normal hair. And uh, who are who made this figure? Uh, Eamon Toys. Never heard of Eamon Toys. So yeah, it it would be a risk. Maybe wait until they come out um, in May. But probably not going to buy them because I need to stop buying things. But like I said, they had caught my eye and I kind of wanted to talk about them. Uh, we'll talk about Neptune later. <laughs> so this one is Celia from uh, uh, Watercare Romance or Valkyrie Romance. It's a very, uh, you know, new type show. I did enjoy it, and some of the characters are very beautiful. Celia, or Celia, she's annoying because she's like supposedly so perfect. It was just annoying how everyone worshipped her. So, but putting that aside, let's look at this figure. And this figure doesn't do it for me. Uh, come on, show the bigger pictures. So, her boobs are too big, and her butt is too big. I mean, there's nothing wrong with girls in this body shape or anything, but it, this just does not do it for me. The, it's too big, like, height-wise and everything. Yeah. Yeah, not, not for me. I, I just wanted to comment about, you know, the butt being too big. And from this pitch sure wow I mean look at the difference between the way the ribs and the waist that 
is not normal. Her belly button, though, is more detailed than most figures I've seen. I just noticed that. And the boobs are just... They match the butt, but not her frame. So, yeah. It, it just doesn't look good. Uh, and she does have, like, a couple different outfits. More This one's more of a see-through, like, wet t-shirt type fabric. Which I've never been the fan of. And then one of them, I think she... Yeah, this one... It's just the straps, no covering cloth. So yeah, not for me, and definitely not for that price. Go away. So we've got Neptune. I love me some Neppy Nep, at least the Purple Heart version of her. When she's in her non-CPU form, she can be annoying sometimes, but she's a very dedicated girl to having fun and to her friends. Not to working, but to that. So, I was kind of happy they were making a Neptune figure, but this one, not so much. I mean, she is just waking up, it looks like, so she's... And she is a sloppy type girl, so I could see her being in this pose, and, you know, she's yawning, she's got the bed head and everything. But, if they had just zipped her up a little bit, then, yeah, I would probably buy her. Because it's Neptune, and gotta have me some Neppy Nep. But this one, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. Dogo's getting a nice view, and I'm, I'm sure she has underwear on, but it's one of those, you know, strategic censoring type things which makes your imagination run wild if you've got the naughty brain, which about 99.99999% of the humans do. Uh, and, I mean, you can tell, yeah, she's just got, like, that sloppy, it just woke up appearance, like, her socks are falling down, this one is just dragging on the floor, yeah, she, I mean, it's Neptune, she looks, she looks spot on for Neptune, I just wish they would have zipped her, her dress up, and then it's, like, a $146, too, so it's pretty expensive, so yeah, I'm not going to be getting this one. Oh yeah, this is the one with the bonus. So the non... Let's, let's go back. The one without the bonus, it's not going to be quite as expensive. Uh, let's open that one up. Yeah, it's $126. So you're paying $20 for that acrylic plate. But it's by Broccoli. And Broccoli, I have two of their figures. And they're pretty... They're good figures, uh... I've got Luxuria, which you should buy her, and then I've got their Noir from this series. So Noir was a little, little small, and the flesh tones were a little bit red, and not the same all throughout, but it, overall it was a pretty good figure, I think. Some people have complained, but I think it was good. And Luxuria, I mean, she's huge, she's perfect, she's great, you should buy her. So I'm going to say... It's probably going to be decent enough quality, so that price is probably going to be justifiable. It's a little expensive for a 1 8 figure, I'll give you that. So yeah, it's up to you. Like I said, I'll probably not buy her. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and end this. It went longer than I planned again. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed episode 3 of Let's Browse. And if... As I've said before, if there are some figures that you want to see that I didn't cover or I missed, leave a comment. Let me know which ones you're interested in. I'll see if I can talk about them. Uh, so next Saturday is OneFest. So in case you don't know what OneFest is, it's a fest, It's like a convention in Japan where a lot of figure announcements are made. So we'll go through... Hopefully they're pretty quick on showing all the new figures and everything. We'll try maybe make a special episode of that. Yeah, but it sometimes it takes a while for the announcements to come out. So yeah, I mean we'll we'll see how it happens. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye bye.